Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're doing great. It's your girl partner. So it's a beautiful day to be alive. And if you're alive and you're breathing, we have every reason to be grateful to God. You can't buy that in the market, you know. So whatever it is you're going through, it will pass. Yes. So getting started. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful, gorgeous, and stylish off-shoulder jumpsuit with a uh, flare as a kit. You might want to sit to the end of this tutorial as I'm going to assure you you're going to enjoy this. And of course, one thing I'm sure is this. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be sure to want to make something like this for yourself. So getting started. Here I have this beautiful um, fabric. This is uh, chiffon, okay? And this is actually the, the leftover, okay? I have out of the three yards. Three yards of chiffon fabric is what I'm using for this. So I already have the everything cut out, okay? It's save time. And here, I'm going to be dividing it into two, of course. Of course first of all, cut out the upper part, then of course the lower part. Now, the upper part, which is the top part, I have using a half length of 16 and a half, okay? And here, I have, by the way, this is the fabric. I have to add um, a little bit of um, interfacing to it. This is called ST, just to give it a little weight because it's so light, okay? So, um... I have this already ironed out and of course attached to the lining and as you can see i pinned them or just to put it in place because of how slippery this can be so that it doesn't move around so here off shoulder of four is what i'm actually going to use so i just place this at the four inch mark here and this is the length of what i'm using actually i'm using them um, 16. then i have an extra allowance here for hemming allowance okay Yes, so this is just a complete measurement. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to start imputing my other measurement. Like from here, placing my four here, I'll take the chest line, which is uh, at nine. Um, the length to breast point nine is 10. That's the length to breast point. Then of course, length to under bust is um, 13.5, okay? So I'm just going to... Um, Get a straight line for that. Yeah. And of course, on this upper part, um, when it comes to cutting out an off shoulder, ideally we use um, between the range of um, 5 to 6. But average, if an average one, use 5.5 to place that for this top part. Okay. So I'm just going to mark 5.5 here. Okay. Yes. So at this point here, I will impute um, the bust measurement, which is um, 35. If I divide it by 4, I have um, 8.75. So I placed my 8.75 here first. Here, at this point, I want to get my angle, okay? So from here, first of all, I'll just connect it here at this point, okay? Then coming down to this place, I can put in my neckline, okay? Remember, it's already 4. So I just need to go down, say a little bit, say at um, five is okay for me here. So I'll just mark five. And of course, here we have it, the neckline and the ambo. Okay. So um, I want to give this a little bit of um, princess uh, that, okay? I want to create a princess that here. So I need my boss pan measurement, which for this person is seven inches, okay? And... Um, seven inches so i'm going to divide it by two that's 3.5 plus 0 0.5 inch of um, allowance that's four so i'm just going to mark four from this point of the breast point all the way so i'll get a straight line here okay now remember this is the breast point line for so from this point i just go down say by one inch take note of that okay then on this under post line, I don't really want it to have so much curve, so I'll just do three um three quarter inches okay for me on both sides. I'm just marking three quarter in. So the next thing I'll do is to connect it to this one inch point below the boss point. Can you see this? Then of course take this straight down uh to the to the waist. You can see this, okay? So from here now. This end point here, I'll just 
go in here by two inches okay it's actually standard okay so from here i just get a two inches point here can you see this this point here now this point now in order to eliminate armpit um rough um cleavage uh, what's it called roughness or clumping i'll go here by half inch and on this side too i come in here by half inch what i'm doing here and i'm necessarily going to do it for the back side okay so from this point now i'll connect it to here this point over here just do this okay then this other one side here goes to the same point okay and that's it so the next thing i want to do now is to properly give this the bust curve properly you can see from this breast point line we are just curving it properly to this place you can see this yes and that's it okay so the next thing now is just to impute um, the bust measurement and of course the waist measurement now for the bust measure we have already done that okay so i'm just going to add an extra um three inch of allowance then on this um waistline what we have is 30 divided by 4 that's 7.5 okay i'm taking note of that then of course if you see here because of this dart that we have created here i need to also put back the space here okay i hope you understand that so what i have here is 1.5 so i'll just put it back because of this that we're going to be cutting out you know all this parts will be going off so i'm putting it back here okay and of course i'll add say an extra three inch of our allowance as well okay so what i'm going to do is just to connect this okay then of course on this part i will go up by one and a half or two inches okay so that we don't have um shortage when we are sewing at the armhole area okay this is usually an ideal way of, of doing that when you're cutting the princess that with a bust Okay, so I'm, this one automatically is going to give me my new armhole, no longer this one. So I'll just take this to this place. And um, believe it or not, we're done. That's it. It's as simple as that. Okay? Yes, so what I'll do next now is just to cut all this off. Okay. And that's it, guys. We're done for the front cut. So the next thing now is to cut out for the back piece so already have this place as well like this is the best way to cut your outfit actually this works for me it's make things easier just hold your fabric align it along with your lining and uh, it's you just cut it out everything at the same time so here now i'll first of all get um the zipper allowance of uh, two inches okay i'll take note of that Okay, so imputing the bust measurements, remember we are starting from this point, which is um, 8.5, 8.75 actually. Okay. 8.75. Okay, so from here, I connect it this way. And of course, for the back piece, um, we just go down, say, a little bit. We use five inch for the front piece. So the back, say, I do six. So I'll just take this for the back um, neckline. You can use any shape you want, actually. Okay. From this point, sorry, we got two inches. Okay. From this point, we got two inches. So you just connect it one inch away from the chest line which is actually at the bust point line just connect it this way so we have our curve princess curve for the dark piece then on this lower part i'll just do half an inch on both sides it's okay for me you can do three quarter half an inch is okay okay so all i need to do is to add this um points now this chest line i'll just connect it all the way can you see this then of course coming down to the waist uh, which is 30 divided by 4 that's 
Then I'll also add my 3 inch allowance. And remember this extra that allowance we have here. In this case, we have um, one. We have one inch. Okay, so I'll just put in the one inch also, and that's it. And I connect my points. And just like we did for the front piece, we go up by one and a half or two inches on this point. Okay, and here we we'll get our new original arm hook now. So this one gives us um, our new arm hook. That's so no longer this one, and that is it. We're done. We're done with this. All this left is just to, you know, cut this out. That's it. So we're cutting out the neckline first. Be careful to follow this shape, okay? That's it. We're done with the back piece as well. So here we have the back piece and the front piece. And that's it, guys. So what I'm going to do now is to take note of my measurement here. I already have mapped out here is the hip line. Okay. And from the crotch um, depth, I'm going to be using um, 12.5 for that. Then for the hip, the new length, I'm using um. 18 okay and of course we have the length to the to the floor okay yes so i'm just going to draw a straight line here and here okay ordinarily if you're cutting out um, your regular um, trouser you don't need that much of a crotch depth but because this is a jumpsuit to allow the person freeness especially this person is very um has hips and the flap is full as well so i need to take um, that much actually okay so on this one before i do anything now i'll, I'll first of all create a shape Okay, for this trouser. So I'm going to come here to this lower part, the end part here. I'm just going to go up by one and a half inches. Take note of that. Then come back to this upper part, which is the waist part. I'll just say one inches. One inches on the upper part, one and a half inches on the lower part. All I'm going to do is to take my ruler and connect it all to the hip line. This is the hip line from this one inch on the waistline. I'll connect it to the hip line like so then of course from this same hip line i'll take it down all the way to where i have the one and a half inches um, marked out okay this is what i do just to give this pant further um, the shape that it deserves okay instead of having it flat and you have to create that hip shape so this is the first thing I do. If you can see, I've already created that shape, okay? So from this point of this line drawn here is where I'll be including my every other measurement this way. This from the hip line to the waist line. And here, my crotch. From this part that connected to the new line and of course all the way to the floor length. And here you have it. We're done. Okay. So the next thing of course I'll do my just to call this all out. Carefully start cutting from here, and here you have it. We have this uh, front piece is ready. Okay, one thing I also want to point out is because I'm using a lining for this. Okay, I'm not gonna um, use the uh, to the exact length of the main fabric. Okay, this is the main fabric. So at the end of the day, I'm still going to cut out 
about two inches away from the line. So my lining will, will be shorter in length by two inches. Okay? Yes, that's how I want it. At this lower part here, I'm going to go put in half an inch. Okay? Half an inch is okay. Then come to this um, crotch uh, here line. I'll put in one inch. Can you see that? One inch on the front line, half inch on this lower part. So what I'll do is just connect it all the way. Okay, following the same, the same shape. Carefully doing that. Okay, can you see that? Then of course, to this other part, just take it all the way to meet the the hip the, um, the waistline. You can see this? Yeah. So that's it. Then of course, on this part here. This back piece, I'll go in by one inch, okay? This one inch is going to represent my dart. So I'm just going to take it from this point to the hip line. So from here, I have this. So can you see this? From this point to the hip line, okay? That's, that's going to represent my um, dart, okay? So... The next thing I'll do, of course, is to cut this um, all out. So coming down to the cape, which is the flare, I also have um, this fabric, setting this aside. So um, I have this square fabric folded into four. Now, the round shoulder measurement I'm actually working with is um, 40, okay? So by the time we join all the parts, so that the round shoulder measurement is going to be 40 inches. Is that um, what I'm working with, actually, okay? So, and um, the length of the flare that I need for this cape, it's, um, I want it to be around, say, 7.5 to 8 inches, And that's it, guys. Yes. So by the time I open up this now, I have a complete circle. You can see, so this is what is going to form my cape at the end of the day. Then, of course, also, I also have this little piece here. I've already ironed my interfacing here. What I have here is about five inches. Ironed it and um, folded it into two. So what I have here is about 2.5 inches. I'm going to sew it half an inch, then I'm left with So this is going to actually be for my sleeve. And that's after I have finished, you know, joining all the parts together. So this is going to form my sleeves, okay, at the armhole area, okay, before, of course, I now apply and put in my kit.